next up I'm gonna make a tutorial about the part where it is um, suggested you could change the Pac-Man. Why? Because Pac-Man is rather dangerous. It's uh, where all the definitions are for your package manager. So it's pretty, um, well, it's for an administrator and it's uh, protected and you should really think about what to change there. So let's do it together. We have here the file system. We have here the etc and we go to pacman.conf which is down there somewhere pacman is it here the pacmac is something else pacmac.conf so i set it to open with sublime text if you haven't you change it here and it's now on two what can you do you should read you should read the wiki you should think about what is uh, Pac-Man and what options are there and what danger you want to um, to 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 yeah how do you say that it's dangerous to to include the testing here for instance so if you are doing that then it's up to you because it's uh, you should be able to fix it as well if something goes wrong because testing just listen is beta you know it's something they are testing so it's not stable so some things may go wrong that's what you should remember so i'm gonna it is a virtual machine so i'm gonna have uh, a completely experimental and testing setup and include just about everything that there is to include so everything is included everything can be now updated to the latest version which also means the latest kernel let's try that so we have <coughs> we have now um, saved this not yet Control s and that's what's great about sublime text we're on a protected part of our system i just have to press my password in and there you go it's saved now we can give it a try so windows 3 and let's take sudo pacman minus s and so on and now he's taking the staging as well and as you can see i'm no longer up to date and we have here i see it here already a linux 4.9.5.1 so it's the very very latest kernel and why not try it we are on a virtual machine what do we risk nothing so there we go everything is going to be installed with a pseudo pacman minus s y u and we have now changed elements inside of Pac-Man. There is one thing I forgot to mention, which is a bit stupid, I know. But some of you will like it and others will say, Eric, don't explain that. There is this little thing you can add. I think it's a little written like this. I love candy. And then you have this little Pac-Man. I tend to do this as well just want to have a verbose eh, many explanations as possible ah. he's still making the vbox guest mm. things might improve let's see what happens no kernel headers uh, for the 4.4 Who knows, maybe my virtual box will be better. Or worse. So the thing to do is now to sudo reboot or use the codes inside of um, our config, which is Windows pause break and then shift S or shift and R for reboot and shift S for shutdown. Let's see what happens. The screen issue is still a screen issue. So let's do it again. Go to full screen. And full screen off. I keep having Vivaldi issues. <laughs> I don't know why. It's strange. 
It's like spyware, it keeps popping up. Ah! Damn! It's Opera. That's giving me a problem. So I'll fix that in a later, a later uh, movie. Okay. Anyway, um, so the terminal. Back to Windows 3. What do we have now? We have now 4.9.5.1. Everything is still working. Great. That's how it should be. And the I Love Candy. We didn't see that one. Which is this. Maybe you see it, maybe you don't. The yellow C there is going to eat away whenever it's going to download. Okay, I think I covered everything about the uh, Pac-Man. Yeah. So I wish you a happy Pac-Man life. <laughs>